We're at the red, white, and blue. I didn't film outside. Ooh, look at Ooh. that. Because it was raining. Ooh. Look at that beauty. That's nice. Is it cracked? Oh, it is. No. Oh, man, that's why it's still there. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. I'm going to cry. <laughs> going to cry. I mean, it'd still be a pretty um, vase for your house or something, but you couldn't use it. Man. These look like a silver plate. They're pretty good here at catching silver. So, oh, here's some depression glass. These are beautiful little like cordial glasses, some champagne. Sometimes I kind of wish I drank <laughs> so I could have those fancy things. But then I always joke and say, mm, I'll just put Sprite in it. <laughs> uh, okay. Not very many mugs today. There's a bunch of decanters down there. We do have a mug wall. Let's see. Oh. Main stays. Oh, that's like a, that reminds me of Polish pottery. And this time I mean Polish. <laughs> the other ones, I don't know why I kept saying Polish for the other stuff. You have all of those. Something Winnie the Pooh there. Little waffle maker. Pretty candle holders. That kind of stuff. You know, new stuff's cool to find. Stuff in the box. There's a set right there for 50. Then you got another one for like $9.99. Let's see if we can. That's a pretty Christmas set. $34.99. It's a pretty mixing bowl. Aaron needed a bigger mixing bowl than what I had when he was trying to make those cookies that he threw away. <laughs> Poor guy. That's pretty. What are you? Metal. Uh, iron art, it looks like it says. Those look like horses. Look how pretty these are. Wow, I like those. They just need their little saucers. Little like demi-toss cups. Ooh, don't fall. Nice after coffee. Yes, I am. I used to make those bento lunches for the kids. Pots and pans. Hmm. There was someone here the other day getting uh, the copper pots. Temptations. Kind of look like Polish stuff. Those are pretty. That's that African. Oh, uh, can't remember the name of it now, of course. Okay, some of these were here last time. That was here. That's really pretty. Usually those are like a sterling plate, a little dish. And I can usually find Pyrex down there, but I'm not seeing any right now. We have some Godinger. Yep. Yep, Santos. Oh, look at this. This is Italian pottery. The one that has like the dragon looking phoenix bird mix thing. I forget the pattern. If I remember what I'm editing, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but that pattern, that bird, that particular one, sells really well. I've sold every piece I've ever gotten. This was here last time. Oh, and we have some, some um, Ray Dunn. All right, I see the cart down there, so I'm gonna go peek what she's got. Here's the grab bag area. There's a few, that's kinda cute, that little snowman guy. Got a candle. Oh, look at these. Yeah, I should. This is a, uh, like a cloth nativity. That's kinda cool. What do we have up here? Some ornaments. I was gonna, if I saw um, 
gift bags. I was gonna, oh, those are pretty. Grab, I was gonna grab those. That's a glass crab. Hold on, it's $2.99. It's a glass, it looks like glass crab and like a cloisonne type crab. I might grab this bag for those two. Those glass. Some candles. They're not the prettiest candles. Oh, look at those. Let's move this guy. A whole bag of these vintage ornaments. For $2.99. And, oh, what is that? Oh, look at that set. That nativity. See the animals. That's broken on that. $3.99. That looks neat. I think I'm going to grab that too. Here's the Christmas grab bags. This is actually the Christmas side. The other ones, I think, were just, you know, there. <laughs> There's a little, um, like an Easter town, which is neat. The little trees have eggs in them. Kind of reminds me of our Animal Crossing game. That's a different bag. So I haven't found really good stockings here in a while. The stockings that we have listed on eBay, I want to say we got at the antique store. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to turn you a little. Little, 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 little. Okay, walk this way. We have some. I was. Oh, there's a, a couple paper punches. I got a bag of paper punches here, and they weren't like any specific brand. They were probably like this is Martha Stewart. This is Marvy. Um, they weren't even labeled or anything, but they were in a grab bag, and I opened them, and they didn't work, and I was so mad. But this will punch a spider web, uh, like border, like on a piece of paper, it'll be a border. And then obviously this punch is a square. But I found quite a few punches here, some Stampin' Up! punches. So, and I was checking to see if they had like an eight and a half or an eight by uh, six album, but I don't see any. This photo paper, there's some art sets cooling laptop fan and a photo album size three by what is that easy to use kits what are you print your own photo album what is it print assemble oh you can fold them up oh that's neat $14.99. Look at all the people. How cute is that? But you know what? This is all paper. It'll all tear. When they go and try and take that paper off of there, it's going to rip. That is for sure. What else do we see in here? You guys see anything? That's neat. It's like a... Oh gosh, like a shell. I can't think of it. Oh look, oh, Pentel. Oh, those are just erasers. Oh wait, there's, Bianca loves, loves, loves um, mechanical pencils. So what is this? Gift boxes, clickable erasers. Oh, I would've got it if there was like maybe a pack of, cause I don't have a dry erase board. A pack of, um, mechanical pencils in there. We have Oh, Teresa Collins flipbook album. Oh, look at this. Teresa Collins stuff. Oh, paint daubers. Where can I grab this bag? Oh, look. Bag of stamps. Tape runner, stampin' up. Markers. Oh, that'd be good if I found the other bag of Stampin' Up! Markers. Okay. 
Oh, here's another Teresa Collins bag with stamps in it. Oh, I gotta try and get that off and look at it. Very cool scrapbooking stuff. They have a nice toy aisle. These are all the bigger ones, you know, that they don't put in the, the bags. Sometimes, oh, I remember. No, this wasn't it. When Bianca was little, she wanted a dump truck that would talk. A garbage truck. Dinosaurs. Pokemon. Yeah. All those, Gabriel loved those things with his cars. Yeah. And they probably all came from the thrift store. Unless it was Christmas. <laughs> we found a video game in one of these last time. It's listed on, on eBay as well. Oh, here's some of those little trains. I sold these before. I found a bunch of them in a grab bag. Jeez, that's like brand new. Wow. And then the girl toys are a little slacking. I have some pretty horses up there. Tea carts. Oh, those tall ones. You know what? People pointed out some other stuff that was broken that we didn't even notice. Oh, yeah. Because it's it's so... Like you're in awe when you're looking at them, you know? These toys will do it for you. Yep. Bianca loves these little people. These actually can um, do pretty good. You don't have to have the wooden base little people that, you know, I had when I was a kid. Um, some of those little people can sell really well. So that's another thing for you guys to look up. Oh, that's neat. What's the tag say? Um, um, 1983. Yep, 1983. Oh my gosh, 44.99 though. 1999. And this is 34. I wonder if they looked them up. Is why they're different prices. Could have something to do. Remember they changed their name. Yeah, they changed that. the logo and stuff. Or was it the logo or just the name? Oh, look Both. at that. Yeah, they. What did they change it to? Washington football team. Washington football team. That's right. That's thirty-five dollars. Some more planes. All of these. Oh, these Boyd's bears. Gosh, they were collectible like Beanie Babies back in the day. Some people still do collect them. If you can find them, you don't find them a lot at the thrift stores. But wow, someone gave their whole collection. What else do we have over there? Oh, a new computer chair. See, this one looks like nice and fancy, but that probably would hurt your bum. <laughs> that would hurt a little bit. But see, you're not allowed to sit on them. So nobody's like posted up waiting here. Anyways, moving on. I see a little swan. A little blue swan. That's kind of pretty, the little box. Yeah, oh, chintzy. nope, never mind. It's pretty from a distance. It got me too. <laughs> it fooled me. Oh, there was a time when these did good. The little brass um, ducks. Okay, so someone said they liked these bloomer girls, but she was broken. That's why I didn't grab her. So, she is very cute though. Someone left a comment saying they collected them. And this, oh, this is that, um, oh gosh, I just look at it now then. Yeah, the Santini, I was gonna say Fontanini, but a Santini sculptor, um, you know, a version of his sculptures. That's really neat. The dolphin with the, mer the merman kids, $14.99. I just listed one of his sculpture type things. What is this? Christine Berry, 2003. The hand wasn't there. That. I'd have to look up. I have no idea what that is supposed to be about. This looks like a wall pocket slash vase. What else do we have over here? Oh, this looks, that's pretty. Little dragonfly candlestick holder. A lot of it's the same as last time. We haven't been here in what feels like a while, so... But we did... Well, I filled the card up with a lot of stuff that I liked, but here's what we grabbed so far. 
Um, we found some Apple Watch bands. We're gonna see if they fit our watches. Um, Aaron snagged these off of a cart. I found this little cat. We found a pen set on a, the lady's cart. Um, I found a book for Gabriel. <laughs> And then a bunch of craft bags. Some of them are on sale and the some of them aren't. We got some candles. We just snagged this off of a cart. This Austria piece. Um, and then Aaron added the football guy. I found a couple Bath and Body Works and philosophy things. Those those little bottles right there, there they sell well too. Um, but I think a few things we're gonna look up before we go. And then that might be it. We might be off to another store. Yep. Yep. <laughs>